Hey everyone, we're going to go through a quick tutorial of how to e-prescribe a medication for a patient. So when you log in, first thing you want to check is to make sure your organization is set up for e-prescribing. So when you go to organization and the settings, you can see I've filled out all my information here and I have a little checkbox here that says medications are enabled. So if you have not filled out all your information, um, you won't be able to see the checkbox. And once you fill it out, you'll see a pending. And then once it's confirmed, it'll, it'll turn green. Additionally, you want to make sure that your particular user is confirmed to prescribe medications. Um, normally, you need your MPI number as well. And you'll same, you'll see a checkbox once it's ready. So when you go to your patient list, you can choose a patient. And you see now there's a medication tab. Click on that. And you can see it says patients not added to e-prescribe. So normally when you add a patient, they'll automatically add it, be added to e-prescribe. But say you add a patient and you don't all the, add all their information the first time because they're just coming in for a consult. Then when you, th you come, they come in the second time, you fill out all the rest of their information, their address, date of birth, and you can add them for tracking and prescribing medications. So you just check this box down here and then click save. And also this help information tells you what all you need. So click save. So now if I go to medications, you can see that message is no longer there. And I can click add medication here. And this pops me into the e-prescribing interface. So you can see a patient here, some demographic information. So let's first set a pharmacy for the patient. You can see it's pretty simple. You just Search for a pharmacy by name. And when you click it, it says saved pharmacy. So you can add multiple pharmacies at one time. And now I want to add a prescription. So I click add prescription here, and all I have to do is start searching. Let's say I want to do low fluoxacin. So I click on the one I want, I want a tablet. Click on the strength, and then you just fill out a little bit of information. Effective date, patient instructions, how many pills you need to dispense, because I'm doing a seven day course. I'm just doing seven pills. And you can also save it as a favorite so that late, if you prescribe this medication a lot, you can easily come back to it without having to fill it, search for it every time. And also if you choose, you can add pharmacy notes or choose no substitutions. So you click save prescription and I'll just add it to my favorites list, give it a nickname. So now you can see it is in the pending medications for this patient. So next you would do is actions and you would send to pharmacy here. Because this is a test account, I don't have a prescribing MPI number, so I don't have that option, but you guys will have the option to send to pharmacy. And that's it. You can see your pending medications, active medications, inactive medications. And you can also even see a patient's medication history through sure scripts, as long as you have the patient consent to do that. So you can click this X button at the top right when you're done. Click out. And now you can see that the medication shows up here and shows entered as the status. Another thing you can do is print out the drug information sheet. So when you click on a medication and you click on this link here, it pulls up a new tab, and this is the drug facts. So if you wanna print this out for your patient, this may be useful at times to give to them for their information. And you can also see here, a notification came up and when I come to my inbox, I see I have a pending prescription. 
um, because I was not able to send that prescription to a pharmacy, it was left as pending, and we automatically flag that as a urgent task. So when you click on this, it takes you right back to your prescribing interface, and you can go and view it and handle that right from here. So that's a quick walkthrough of e-prescribing in the Acute Health EHR. Let us know what you think in the comments below or on the Facebook group. Thanks.